Hello friends, welcome back to another tutorial of USMLE Topics. Uh, today I put together all the inclusion bodies in one page on my blog, so they're all here. And to kind of look through the bodies, if you, if you wanted to quickly look through the bodies in one go, they're all together. So let's quickly look through these, um, look through these pictures and the different bodies. So the first one is Ashraf body. Ashraf bodies are, um, they're ashy bodies that are found in the heart of rheumatic fever patients. Um, so these ashy areas are the ash of bodies. In this, in this case, uh, it's more important to understand the etiology and the vignette of the question rather than determining from just the histological picture whether it's an ash of body or not. Okay, so moving on to the next one, our bodies. And our bodies are bodies that are found in AML patients. And these are little rod-shaped, very direct, spiky structures right here. These are, these are the our bodies. And they're very, very... Um, these bodies are often uh, seen in a, in, a, in a test question. And they're often there. And they're very diagnostic. So the, this our body found in AML must be must be you know you have to be able to recognize this body rather than other bodies the next is basal body i know that basal bodies are found in the muscles but i couldn't tell specifically which exactly which ones are basal bodies I, and this is one picture but i'm not sure if these are basal bodies i just know that they are found in muscles okay i never had a question with basal bodies so it's kind of just, you know, I just remember that basal bodies are found in muscles. The next is bar bodies. Bar bodies are found in females in the X chromosomes. So let's quickly see what bar bodies could look like. So this, for example, this, for example, are bar bodies. So those are bar bodies. Going back to the next one is councilman bodies. And councilman bodies are found in yellow fever. Again, this is this is a, a body which is not very specifically identified from just the picture. But let's see if by looking at some, some other picture here. They're not very specific. So they look like this, you know, this pinkish uh, bodies um, in yellow fever, but um, just looking at the picture, it would be impossible to determine whether it's a council body or not. So again, you have to know uh, the, the vignette of the yellow fever. Okay, the next one is call exner bodies. Call exner bodies are found in, um, I think, I think in ovarian tumors. And these are eosinophilic bodies. Okay, so this bright uh, structures is in, in an H&E staining are the call exner bodies and uh, you can see that the other areas is going to look very very granular in pattern so these are the call exner bodies which are found in ovarian uh, tumors okay so the next one is cavity type a cavity type a is found in, in harpies um, and so that's that's what cavity type a would look like uh, again, this one is etiology or the vignette is more important to determine it. Just looking at the body itself, it would be impossible to determine a cavity type A body. Okay, the next one is de Novin bodies. De Novin bodies are found in Leishmaniasis because it's, it's Leishmaniasis de Novini. This, I think, is a lot more, you know, diagnostic. So usually Leishmaniasis is, is found in, um, uh, these bodies are found in macrophages. So you can see the little, you know, small dotty things. The amastigotes inside the macrophages are the de Novin bodies, okay? This is followed by, the next one is globoid bodies. Globoid bodies is found in Crabs disease and it's a, uh, and what exactly is a Krebs disease? It's a lysosomal storage disease. So again, you have to know the vignette. But if you wanted to take a look, the, this is what a typical um, global body looks like. 
Okay. Following globoid is Mallory Weiss. Mallory Weiss is usually found in liver, and this is due to alcoholism. So this would be a typical picture of Mallory Weiss bodies. Uh, let me find something a little more specific. So, for example, this arrow showing the Mallory Wise bodies here. Again, not very specific. You can see that if they give a liver specimen and if they have a lot of white structures, you know that these are fat bodies. And within those fat bodies, if they have a collection of these darker bodies, that would be Mallory Wise bodies. Okay? Mallory Wise bodies is later um, followed by Negri bodies. Negri bodies is found in Parkinson. Usually whenever I see Negri body, I see something like this, something uh, staining which is very light and then a little darker than that uh, and the Negri bodies are seen in the brain. Okay, so for me Negri bodies is a lot more, like whenever I look at it, I, I can usually, you know, think that yeah, this could be Negri bodies because they are so light in color. Um, a little bit different are these ones, but then again, you know, you can't really tell if this is Negri bodies or not. Okay, the next one after Negri body is pig's bodies. Pig's bodies are also found in pig's disease, uh, and usually they look like these. Okay, so that is a typical picture of pig's bodies. Something else would look like. A different picture would look like this. So these are all pig's bodies. Okay. Uh, following pig's body is uh, Russell bodies, and Russell bodies is found in multiple myeloma. Um, I mean, I'm sorry about the some of the pictures you can see over here, but let's just focus on the Russell bodies in multiple myeloma. So if you think that this is multiple myeloma, these darker bodies are the Russell bodies. Um, so that's that. The next one is Schiller duval bodies. Schiller duval bodies is usually endodermal sinus tumor or yolk sac tumor. And it's interesting because these bodies look like a glomeruli and I agree with it. They say it looks like a glomeruli and it's very diagnostic to me. When I look at it, I can tell this is Schiller duval and this is found in, found in yolk sac tumor. Following Schiller duval bodies is zebra bodies, and zebra bodies are found in Neiman Peak. Okay, um, let me see. And they actually look like zebra bodies. I mean, they're beautiful zebra structures. For me, these are also very, very diagnostic whenever I look at them. So, and this one too. Um, they're very, very diagnostic to me. The zebra bodies found in Neiman Peak. All right, so that's about it. Hope, uh, hopefully, these. Uh, different pictures and these are uh, different um, different um, like links to these pictures are helpful to you and um, yep yeah, so this was meant to be a quick video uh, and I'll see you guys in my next video bye for now